What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best Canon cameras 2022 through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or it's particular use we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. 10th place. Canon EOS R5. The EOS 5 South African RAND is a game-changer in technology. The new flagship mirrorless camera from Canon first appears to be attempting to dominate every market niche. It has a brand new 45MP sensor with a new low-pass filter that creates photos with remarkable detail, as well as the EOS 1DX Mark III's class-leading autofocus technology, which has an astounding 5,940 AF points for photography and 4,500 for video. The EOS R5's video specifications are truly cutting-edge. Cinematic performance is achieved with uncropped 8K raw video internally at up to 29.97 frames per second in 4 to 2 colon 2 12-bit Canon Log or HDR PQ, both H.265, in both UHD and DCI. There is, of course, a catch. You've probably heard about the EOS R5's quite severe recording limitations while shooting in both 8K and 4K. Although firmware has been developed to decrease the impact of this, there's no denying that it's a flaw in the EOS R5's capabilities as a professional video tool. Ninth place. Canon EOS R6. In place of the slightly confusing EOS R and for individuals who don't require the cutting-edge technology and resolution of the EOS R5, the EOS 6 South African RAND is the serious enthusiast's model of the EOS R series, more on which below. It also has a professional appeal, thanks to its speed, video, and low-light capabilities. The EOS R6 has autofocus that uses the deep learning technology from the EOS 1DX Mark III and has a maximum shooting speed of 20 frames per second. Although some people may find the 20.1MP resolution to be too low, the bigger pixels allow for greater low light performance. In fact, the R6 surpasses the R5 in this regard because to its extended standard ISO range of 50 to 204,800 and standard ISO range of 100 to 102,400. This makes for a highly powerful low-light camera when coupled with the addition of Canon's 5-axis in-body image stabilization technology, which offers up to 8 stops of effective correction. Being relatively new and all, the EOS 6 South African RAND is still somewhat expensive, but it is an incredibly powerful all-around camera, just slightly hampered by a low megapixel count. The following camera on our list is definitely the one for you if you require higher pixels. 8th place, Canon EOS RP. The EOS RP is Canon's second full-frame mirrorless camera and is significantly more affordable than the others. It is also smaller and lighter. It is spectacularly successful in its goal of being a small, reasonably priced, and user-friendly entry point into Canon's full-frame mirrorless system. However, due to its diminutive size, it can occasionally be outweighed by heavier lenses. Additionally, the 4K video mode has a number of limitations, including a 1.6x cropped image frame and the inability to use Canon's quick dual pixel CMOS AF system unless the resolution is set to full HD. On the plus side, you can use your current Canon DSLR lenses with the new but expanding RF lens system, the photos are crisp and sharp, and the VARI angle touchscreen display is a big benefit for both stills and video. Such a wonderful camera. Is this Canon camera the best for enthusiasts? It's comparable to the EOS 6D Mark II DSLR in our opinion. 7th place. Canon EOS M50 Mark II. This appears to be a small improvement over the original Canon EOS M50, but the enhancements make it worthwhile to purchase over the earlier model. These include enhanced focusing, as well as eye recognition in stills and video, as well as major benefits for video shooters including clear HDMI out, vertical video recording, and the capacity to live stream directly to YouTube. Unfortunately, while it's a great 1080p camera, it's a bad choice for 4K as it loses dual pixel AF and suffers from a 1.6x crop. It does, however, fit a lot of additional technology into its small chassis, including as a fantastic 24.1MP sensor, 10fps shooting, and the presence of a viewfinder, which many similarly priced mirrorless cameras lack. This is a cute, user-friendly, and surprisingly flexible mirrorless alternative to the Canon Rebel SL3 EOS 250D that delivers the same functionality in a smaller body. 6th place. Canon EOS M6 Mark II. It does, however, fit a lot of additional technology into its small chassis, including as a fantastic 24.1MP sensor, 10fps shooting, and the presence of a viewfinder, which many similarly priced mirrorless cameras lack. 
This is a cute, user-friendly, and surprisingly flexible mirrorless alternative to the Canon Rebel SL3 EOS 250D that delivers the same functionality in a smaller body. Uncropped 4K video, an extensible ISO limit of 51200, and a high-resolution tilting touchscreen are further features. The M62 makes a strong argument to be your primary camera, with the M-series lens choices being the only thing holding it back. In the past, M-series cameras have seemed to want to carve out a place as acceptable second cameras. It doesn't have a built-in viewfinder, but it does have a clip-on EVF, so make sure that's part of the deal when you buy. Fifth place. Canon EOS 1DX Mark III. We were pleasantly surprised by how much more the Canon EOS 1DX Mark III lived up to our expectations. With features like deep learning autofocus, uncropped 4K, something lacking from Canon cameras for quite some time, a new control scheme, and much more, it's not just an upgrade to the 1DX workhorse series adored by pros all over the world. If you require a camera that continuously records images with lightning quick autofocus and an unstoppable burst rate, then you probably don't need us to repeat yourself. The Canon EOS 1DX Mark III is an amazing camera, but we'll say it nonetheless. There have been rumors that this may be the final professional Canon Sports DSLR and that mirrorless cameras will take its place, but in this game, nothing is certain until it occurs. Fourth place, Canon EOS 5D Mark IV, despite the new generation of stills and video features offered by the EOS or mirrorless models in the next section, the DSLR design still offers several benefits, including as a lag-free optical viewfinder, superior handling with larger lenses, and significantly longer battery life. While some believe it to be the last of the EOS 5D DSLR series, the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV is likely to remain one of the best cameras for professionals for some time to come. Professionals have long embraced the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV as a reliable, versatile workhorse, and we believe it was even used to film scenes on the popular TV show The Mandalorian. Instead of being a specialized camera made to honor a specific photographic style, it is a capable all-arounder that can handle practically any task. The 61-point autofocus system is quick and effective, and dual-pixel CMOS AF from Canon makes live view AF quick and responsive as well. Although the 30.4 megapixel resolution is not the greatest, it offers a compromise between resolution and low light, low noise performance. Third place. Canon EOS 6D Mark II, Canon's entry-level full-frame DSLR, the EOS 6D Mark II, replaces the EOS 90D. Although it may be inexpensive, it is by no means simple. The benefit of a full-frame sensor is that you get more megapixels and larger, more light-capable pixels, photosites. In comparison to 24-megapixel cameras, the EOS 6D Mark II's 26-megapixel sensor offers a useful advantage thanks to its robust 45-point AF system for shooting through the viewfinder and Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF for shooting in real-time, as well as its respectable 6.5 frames per second continuous shooting rate. The completely flexible back screen and the simplified handling and control structure are what we adore the most. The EOS 6D Mark II is our top pick for the finest Canon camera for enthusiasts, if you have the extra cash over the APS-C format EOS 90D, above. Second place. Canon EOS Rebel SL3, EOS 250D. The little Canon Rebel SL2, also known as the EOS 200D in Europe, was highly popular, but the Rebel SL3, also known as the EOS 250D in Europe, outperforms it in every aspect. Is it the greatest Canon camera you can purchase right now for beginners? Excellent image quality is delivered by Canon's top-of-the-line APS-C sensor, which has a resolution of 24.1 MP. Live view shooting with the LCD screen is so simple and intuitive, and it has such good autofocus, that we'd actually say this is one of the few DSLRs where setting up shots on the screen is as simple as with a mirrorless camera. In addition, Canon includes 4K video, which was absent from the previous SL2. All of this is housed in a compact, ergonomic DSLR body. The new EOS Rebel T8i is far more expensive in terms of pricing but just slightly more attractive. First place. Canon EOS 90D. An amazing APS-C workhorse camera at a great price is the Canon EOS 90D. It manages to produce magnificent uncropped 4K video with a maximum resolution of 32.5MP and a high-speed frame rate of 10fps, without the irksome crop that has previously afflicted Canon cameras. Its excellent handling and ergonomics serve as a good reminder of why using a DSLR is such a satisfyingly tactile experience. Not to mention that you get an optical viewfinder, which many people still prefer to the electronic viewfinders on mirrorless cameras, the EOS 90D is available at a welcome enthusiast price point. If Canon continues to make products as amazing, DSLR death rumors will have been grossly overstated. Thank you for watching, and until next time, 
I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later guys.